Alright guys, it's video response time. Hey gang, it's Andy here. Um, taking a quick break from editing a boatload of upcoming videos to uh, do a quick video response to uh, one of Busan Kevin's videos um, on his Jayland Kev account. Um, in the video uh, I'm going to be talking about, he is uh, explaining the origin of his uh, YouTube name, Busan Kevin. And uh, I thought I'd just kind of uh, let you guys uh, hear the origin story of uh, my username as well. And uh, obviously the uh, Andy-san name came from uh, my love of anime and Japanese culture and stuff like that. And it came about uh, probably around late high school, very early college. Uh, so around 2004, 2005-ish, somewhere around that time. Uh, and my friend Jake came up with the name. He was always coming up with uh, stuff like that. And he was like, Edison of the Natsu Eastern Wind. And kind of gave me this whole, like, Kung Fu Karate Kid sort of one-liners and stuff like that. And I kind of liked it, you know. It was, it was something fun. So I just kind of, you know, stuck with it. You know, it just rolled with it, I guess. And, uh, you know, there's... Over the years, I've seen that there's a lot of uh, an other Andy songs out there, and uh, tried looking up my name on different uh, websites, and uh, other people would show up like uh, porn star Andy Sandinas. <laughs> so I decided to uh, differentiate myself from the other Andy songs out there by going by the name The Andy Song. And uh, I'm still known as just Andy Son on uh, some other platforms, most notably YouTube. But um, nowadays I mostly go by the Andy Son just to differentiate myself from everybody else. Uh, so that's the uh, the origin of my YouTube name. And uh, anyway, uh, Kevin also did a uh, a video earlier of giving some uh, YouTube tips, and I thought I'd kind of respond to that as well. And uh, before I give you uh, some YouTube tips, uh, keep in mind I'm not a uh, super famous YouTuber. You know, I'm barely on the radar. <laughs> Maybe I'm not even on the radar, you know. So I don't have a gazillion subscribers, you know. But I have been YouTubing for a while now. I've had an account since 2006, and I've been fairly regularly uh, doing videos since 2008. So. Uh, I definitely want to share my knowledge of uh, YouTubing and things like that. So, um, I have just uh, just three YouTube tips to give out, and uh, they kind of touch upon different subjects that uh, Kevin talked about as well. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, begin with the YouTube tips. Uh, the first tip I want to say is uh, do what you love, but uh, do your research too. Now, uh, obviously, you know, if you talk about stuff you don't like, um, you're going to get bored with it, or just whatever, and you obviously don't want to do the whole, you know, trendy thing, you know, t just talk about what's trending, and uh, I know that there's a lot of YouTubes that, YouTubers out there that kind of do the whole news reporting thing, like uh, Sexy Phil, or Sexy Phil does, and uh, What the Buck, um, and there's also a lot of uh, kind of clip show runners like uh, Ray, Ray William Johnson and uh, Clip Critics. And uh, obviously the most famous one that everybody knows is uh, Daniel Tosh from Tosh.0. Oh. And uh, now those guys are pretty funny, don't get me wrong, but I think for the most part, you know, those kind of kinds of YouTubers are, you know, you don't want to try to copy that style of YouTube, in my opinion. Just because I think it's already pretty well covered by more established people, so it'll be pretty hard for you to break into that, unless you have a really unique take on it, or you just have a, a very magnetic personality, or some kind of hook. But um, basically, what I'm trying to say is uh, talk about what you're passionate about, what you love, and uh, try to approach it from your own voice. You know, obviously, you know, take inspiration from other YouTubers. Um, the main, the top three YouTubers that I took inspiration from when I was first starting out, even today, you got uh, Tokyo Kuni, you got Roger Swan, and you got uh, SXU Phil. Those are the uh, 
the three main YouTubers that I took inspiration from, not only in my vlogging style, but also just editing and, you know, things like that. So, you know, you don't want to just outright copy them, but uh, definitely take inspiration. And also, what I mean, what I mean by uh, do your research, um, say you love, I don't know, car, like uh, car hubcaps, or something like that, just pulling a random example out, you know, maybe not a lot of people like that sort of thing, but maybe a lot of people do. So, it's de it would definitely uh, behoove you to uh, research um, different topics and just kind of see, n not really like going after the trends per se, but just see what's fairly popular so you can gather an audience and uh, be able to market your product to forums, Facebook groups, uh, now Google Plus groups, and uh, other platforms. So, just, you know, try to find... Some, something that has an audience. And, uh, let's see, the second tip I have is find a consistency. Now, for the, uh, the more newsy type uh, YouTubers like SXEVIL and Mug, or the more kind of live-ish uh, videos like uh, Locker Gnome, um, and some other YouTubers like uh, Boots on Kevin, who do like three to five videos a day. Um, that's kind of their style, but for me, my uh, preferred consistency, which <laughs> you've been following me for a while, has not always been true, but my ideal consistency would be to do at least three videos a week. Uh, ideally on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those are the best days to put out YouTube videos. Tuesday's pretty good too. But, um, it's just kind of iffy for me. <laughs> so, ideally, for, you know, for me, three videos a week. And, uh, try to put some, uh, real good quality into them. And it'll also give you time to market the videos, you know, put out tweets on Twitter, tell your Facebook friends, you know, hey, I released a new video, come check it out. So, rather than just put out a whole bunch of videos at once, you know, it would be best to just put out a couple videos a week so you have time for them to generate some views before you put out the next video. And, you know, all the people that just track your new videos will kind of ignore the other two videos, you know, if you keep on putting out a bunch of content. So I've, you know, I've tried both strategies. I've tried putting out a bunch of videos all at once. And I've also tried, you know, sparingly put out, putting out videos. And I found that... You know, doing a video maybe every other day or so is generates usually the best results for me. And uh, my final tip, and this is the uh, the most important one, I think, is to uh, do videos that answer questions, uh, do uh, like how-to videos, and uh, videos that help people solve problems. And now, uh, most people know me online from uh, my very successful series, NFACTS, where I answer questions about uh, the U.S. Navy, you know, life, how to get in, things like that. And uh, I've done, you know, a bunch of little mini-series before I've reviewed things and done unboxings and stuff like that. But I never quite had the success that I had with NFAX. And uh, it was mostly due to the fact that NFAX answered questions was somewhat of a how-to in some ways, and it helped uh, just solve problems. And I think one of the main problems was, at least for me, the reason I started NFAX was because at the time there really wasn't a lot of like sailors or marines or soldiers online giving uh, their honest opinion about you know what, what's boot camp like, what's army or navy or marine life like, you know, what's it like on a ship things like that. Now, of course, sometimes you go and see the funny videos that, you know, people do on deployment or whatever, and that's cool. But there's, there weren't really a lot of videos where, you know, the uh, service members sat down and just told you what was going on. And the videos that they did, you know, were usually very well polished and were basically, you know, commercials. So, a lot of people were looking for, um, 
you know, just honest opinions from real people, nothing too polished or too fancy. And I think that's where uh, my series kind of fit into that niche. And uh, I am hoping to start it back up again, so uh, definitely uh, stay tuned for that. But I think I've done enough yammering for today, so uh, I'll just uh, end things here and get back to editing videos. So yeah, this is the Andy Son. Signing off for now. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to this uh, fairly long video. It was meant to be short, but, you know, I like to talk. <laughs> and I also got to thank you guys for uh, liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later.